watch this show. How real is that show Parrot thing? Are those like actual like knows or I don't know. I think it's I don't know. It might be people that he knows. Um, I'm not 100 percent sure. Like obviously it's a sh kind of a lower budget show where he's just sort of going through things with you guys. Yeah, I think it's I think it's like people that he knows, like you know, like a dolomite sort of situation, a bunch of people that he's just hanging out with. And of course, it's all talk to people. So, so then my question is, that episode where his Nana died, was that really his Nana dying? Oh, I think it and, and is and is that woman, that actress, therefore dead? That's my next question. Well, you could go look and see if she's what, if she's dead in the credits. I don't have any sources. Like that. I was just hey, you, you could Alex, you go to IMDb's in a quick internet search. No. Is Joe Pair of the Grandma or dead in real life? Or you just do that in Google. You know, I don't Either think one. I don't think anyone has an answer like that. You just type in is Joe Pair of the Grandmother dead. I don't think that's what you search for. I don't. I don't doubt you look for it. I just don't think that's what you search for. You'll get it. And I was just curious because of the nature of the show. From what you told me. Or Black Desert Online? It is. I might do some... Since I kind of started that game, but then never... I got to the first, like, major area. After, like, the tutorial and after, like, the first, like, boss battle. And then I stopped. I don't think I went back. Um, I, I liked it. I liked the combat. It was fluid. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, uh, I told you I got it. I was, I was yeah, I, I know so you got it. I might go back and uh, start that over. Although the intro is kind of I might, I might start it over just Let's see if I can break. Because I think if you... I forget what stats I took. If I took a bunch of charisma or whatnot. But I think I took a bunch of persuasion and charisma because like, it does have a lot of um, RPG elements. So if you don't have like locksmithing or yeah, I know. I know. constitution and stuff like that. Like, it really can mess you with the choice you can make. Ah. Ah. Alright, I know that. No more outward, huh? Let's see how it is. So that explains why Joe is the way he is. What do you mean? Like, is, is he? Is he? Is there? Is there? Like, is, does he have a learning disability or something? Like, what's? Like, 
Like, is, is there something going on with him? No, he's, he's just a sweet southern individual. I don't Midwest think in individual. Well, he might be in the Midwest. Yeah. But why doesn't anyone else in the town behave like him? And whenever they interact with him, they kind of like have a oh bless your heart kind of <laughs> interaction with him kind of thing. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but I'm just not I'm just not sure if there's like another is there something else going on? Or... Yep, no, not that I know. Of. He's he's fine. He's, he's not suffering from a learning disability. <laughs> that's what you're on about. He's just he's just that. He's just like that. All right. Then, why does so everyone fancy. like even like that? Because even that one episode, like where the woman was like, like um, he went to that place and the guy was like all happy to see him, and he's at another table and they're having like um, guys breakfast while the ladies are having ladies breakfast or something like that, and he tells her, oh my, my wife's right over there, and then he turns around and waves her and she's like, oh, oh hi Joe, don't come over here, <laughs> and then he turns around. <laughs> so I was like, um, okay, like, I guess that's. Has something. Well, Joe Pera Talks With You yep. is an interesting show. I, I view it as. A, uh, well, you said there was like even more hitting me. I guess like there, there's like this like this whole series is actually about a dystopian universe that's about to take place, and, and I didn't I didn't get that. So that's how I was asking. Not a dystopian universe that's about to take place. I was saying that it's a, it's a series about a man's struggle because he's out there doing these things, right? Yeah, you said there was because they like oh, so they had several episodes. They only had like a small segment about beans, right? And you extrapolated this whole thing about the beans, and I was like, I did not get that at all. I just thought <laughs> it was just some dude, and maybe he had a learning disability. <laughs> You were like, no, like the beans, like that's like a that's like a very important episode. And I was like, really? Okay, well, I didn't get that. Because you were well, saying like, li about... li like, like, uh, okay, his, it's, his, it's, his, his, it's, 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 it's really about his girlfriend. Even though this is Joe Kara talks to you. This whole series is really about her. In some, which I didn't get either. I was like, okay, well, all right. I was about his. I was saying it was about his struggle because he was kind of like a regular dude, more or less. He was out here dealing with these various sort of things, and you know, people will do stuff to him, do stuff that's weird. Like, like, okay, the first episode is him ta sitting there talking about, like, like all these sort of rocks. things like, yeah. like, who the hell gives a crap about rocks, right? But and then, they're and all then, about, and then like, someone just barges into his house and it's like, we'll buy your house. And yeah, he yeah, knows it's, it's not for favorite. sale, but he, that's what I'm saying, like, is there something going on? Because he knows it's not for sale, he just lets them into his house. And then he lets him into this house because he's polite. That's why he does it. But but other people in the town are polite too, and they don't do these kind of things. And even when he confronted them later, they were like, "Yeah, we already knew your house wasn't for sale. We called the number." And yeah, there was some kids playing the prank. But it's, it's like, why wouldn't she say anything? Why would she just be like, "All right, I guess I have to leave my house." Like, <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's funny. I, I just, I just wasn't sure because no one else in the in the town behaves that way, you know. Yeah, no, it was. Okay, um. okay, so here's here's the thing about it, right? So. Take what they hear is like he, his, someone, s someone did that, right? But the, what the takeaway they're supposed to be is that in society, you're there, right? You're just doing like whatever it is you normally do, like whatever it is you think is like important to you or something like that, and you have your right to kind of do those sort of things. 
but even for those people who are just doing their own stuff, there are other people out there who are kind of effectively meddlers, right? And so they, like, not, not to say the kids aren't meddlers, but it's, it's, it's come on the kids, but it's also coming on society as a whole, because these people will be sitting around kind of just minding their own business, and somehow some layer of calamity will befall them. And it has nothing to do with things they've done or things that they didn't do. It's just the way that the society is sort of made up that there are these individuals, effective busy bodies, who come up and make these sort of things that make stuff difficult for other people. And that's sort of the situation that Joe Para finds himself in in this first episode. He's just out there doing the things he wants to do, and then instead of you know, just being able to do that, he's now stuck dealing with this somewhat dilemma of can someone just come in and remove me from my house? What actual liberties do we have? 